okay. So, um, we are, we talk a lot. I just got home. He just got home. We were in New York for Fashion Week, and then he had to fly out to go speak um, at the prisons, and I had to continue to keep working. So, I went up to the breakfast club, and I enjoyed it, and... Crowd, how you too? Thanks, babe. We just, we were just wrapping it up and talking, and I was speaking... Yeah, so when I got back home, he had kind of said something that piggybacked off what I was saying, and I thought it was so dope coming from the male perspective that I felt like the male and the female should hear. So so here's the issue. Submission is supposed to be a beautiful song and dance between two lovers. What's happened is men have abused that power. <clears throat> Forgive me, they've abused that gift, and we have been misled to think that it's something where it's a dominant spirit and we, we own every decision, we dictate everything, we rule with an iron fist. First of all, that's not love. Mm. What happens is in my marriage, let me not speak for everybody, my marriage, I submit daily to the most high. I stay in my scriptures. I continue to feed myself with things that help me build my character to reshape my perspective that was messed up in the streets and dealing with different propaganda and programming and things like that so that I can come to my wife from a pure position. Mm -hmm. So when I do that and she sees me and she witnesses over time that it's an, it's an authentic demonstration, her heart is moved and softened and compelled to submit to me. Yeah. What does that look like? That doesn't mean that I dictate every decision. I don't walk around the house saying what we're going to spend, how we're going <laughs> to do it. We talk and we build. And I, I consider everything that's on her heart, her perspective, her position, her philosophy. I'll carefully weave that into my philosophy to figure out what's the best move for this family keeping all of that in mind. Now, the moment I start to step outside of righteousness and I start to move from a place of emotion instead of analytics, she has every right to snatch that back because submission is a gift. Mm. When she sees me laying at the foot of the Father, she has no reason to withhold that from me. Mm. The problem is this. Men are not found in positions of leadership handling it with integrity. How are you going to lead your wife if you can't balance a checkbook, if you don't know what's going on in the stock market? You don't have a sound understanding of the finances. You can't create a budget. You don't understand what's going on in the educational system in your community that's impacting your kids. In order to lead, you got to be so far ahead of your family that by the time they come to you with a situation or a problem, you've already dived into it, done your due diligence so that you can give leadership. Mm -hmm. You don't lead from your genitals. You leave from a gentle place of understanding. And the more she trusts, the more she can let go of things that she don't have to deal with and focus on the things that edify her. It ain't about money. We both hustlers. It's not about a dollar for dollar thing because we're one unit. Yeah. If I fall, she falls. If she falls, I fall. Submission is solely about trust. I think when, when, when women hear the word submission, we're like, what? <laughs> yeah. Submitting? With my husband, like he said, to piggyback off what he just said, it was what he demonstrated. You know what I mean? Like, he didn't come in and say, all right, like he said, we're going to, the budget is this, 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 for that, 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 this, and then the third. I watched how he did things. I watched how he budgeted. I watched him. And then I slowly became <laughs> him. And I you submitted him that. Now. Yeah, now I think I'm, I'm more frugal than him. And, and, and that's not even being like, Got to be frugal because we don't have it. It's just being smart. And the word, if you dig deep in the word with your with your, with your your partner, you'll start to see a lot of things that we're talking about. But, yeah, I, I like that he broke that down because I'm a very strong woman. I like what I like. I, you know, I'm very strong. But when it comes to allowing him to cover and lead this home, I sit back and allow him to do that, and it makes me better. Wow, that like. Lead by example. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you want your wife to be humble, walk in humility. If you want your wife to forgive, you be quick to forgive. If you want your wife to consider, you know, following you down a, a specific path, prove to her that you got the blueprint and that she's not following you to some un unknown destination. My wife don't have to follow anything that she don't see me demonstrating. Yeah. So master the thing before you go out and try to teach it. It's like sometimes you see cats, as soon as they get a book and they read something, you start running trying to teach people on it, but you haven't applied it and gone through the proven grounds of being able to master that information yourself. So leadership is a forward-thinking thing. And when you do that, women's natural instinct is going to be to trust, 
to be able to submit their hearts. But again, this ain't a dominant thing. Nah. And I want my wife cold as me because if something ever happens to me, she don't like having yeah, that conversation. Always say that. If Boss something ever happens to me, she need to know how to get that bag. She need to understand where the money's at. She need to know how to ask the right questions. I ain't telling you to ask nobody nothing. You tell them what belongs to you. Mm -hmm. She can't do that if I'm controlling everything. So my wife needs to be a direct female reflection of the man that I am. Mm. Facts. Come on now. You come on. You know, I always said the, the wise woman once told me, the older woman used to tell me, stop, boy. What up? Is the woman is the neck and the man is the head. And without the neck, the head can't move. Two so. heads is just a head, but see how that works. <laughs> see how that works. So, yeah. <laughs> um, and, and, and I'm going to end it with this. We ain't perfect. We ain't trying to be perfect. We still nah, growing. Nah. And we just want to share that with all those out there that's still growing and want. And get clarity. Don't be trying to twist my wife's words up at the end of the day because I'm proud of her for standing. They try to do that? Man, whatever, Tom. At the end of the day, we want to make sure there's clarity to what she said and the understanding and be able to hear the force behind what she is saying so it don't get tangled and twisted. It ain't for everybody. Do your thing. But for women out there who truly desire that and men who want to step up to the call, we just wanted to take time out, make sure we bring clarity to our demonstration and hope that it's fruit for you and your lives. And watch how God bless. Mm -hmm. Straight like that. Bye. Salute.